On our second day in Osaka, we jumped on a train nice and early and headed to Nara for a day trip. You can't visit Nara without seeing the famous deers and as you head towards Nara Park, you'll find so many of them roaming around freely and spilling onto the footpaths and street. <laughs> this one's just eating plastic, oh my god. We need to feed it. Oh, stop! Why is it eating plastic? <laughs> The deers are really cute and fun to feed, but they can actually be a little bit aggressive as well. Oh. I'm gonna try and feed the deers now. I'm really, really scared. Secretly. I tried to hide the biscuits underneath my scarf, but they knew exactly where they were. Oh my god, I swear I can Just show them your hands. There's literally deer poop everywhere. I was really surprised to see all the cherry blossom trees at Nara Park, so this is a great spot during cherry blossom season. Had so much fun feeding the deers, but we're gonna go watch the famous mochi fountain now. And I really hope we get to see it because apparently we have to come at like certain times or something. Just random drop it. Yeah, it's just on at random times during the day. Heading into town, I didn't realize how beautiful and quiet Nara was and it feels so different to the other major cities because many of the old buildings have been preserved. Wow, look at all of those monsters. <laughs> Whole family is going to try the famous mochi from Nara. How do you like it? Not the best mochi ever. Really? Like, it's really good. It's, oh, it's really good. Okay. Oh, the filling looks good. The filling looks good. It's a red bean. Yeah, good filling. Is it really sweet? No, not too sweet. Sweet enough. It's quite delicious. It's actually good. Nice. The coatings are quite nice and sweet. It's a bit nutty. And the mochi is like uh, not the softest, but a bit of chew to it. Honestly, not the best mochi ever. I really like the red bean filling. And the coating on the outside is really nice too. I think it's a bit overrated. The mochi itself is quite chewy. I really have to like bite into it. I was a bit disappointed by this experience. The show was only 30 seconds and the mochi was pretty average. Oh. 
half hours later, we made it to Yoshino. I'm so excited to see all the cherry blossom spots. Emily and I were trying to share this one skewer, but the meat was so chewy and tough. Just gonna go ride the boat way up the mountain. I hope we get a bit of view. From Yoshino Station, you can take the ropeway up to the cliffside town where you'll have to continue walking uphill for the best cherry blossom spots on Mount Yoshino. Getting some more warabi mochi because Brian loves it so much. So soft. The Oshi Hakai one is better. But this is too wet. This one's good. Mm. <laughs> So apparently it's going to take us another hour to walk up to the observatory to get a view like this. What? One hour from here. Mount Yoshino in Nara Prefecture is one of Japan's most famous cherry blossom spots and I can see why. The mountain is covered with thousands of cherry blossom trees and it really is so beautiful to see in person. Like the stairs are never ending. Found a good spot. I'm so happy we got a great view of the cherry blossoms. We're going through the town and we're really worried we weren't going to be able to um, see it uh, because there's a lot of trees and buildings in the way. And also, we stopped at an information spot and they were telling us that. The best view was like an hour's walk up the mountain and we're like not gonna be able to do that. My parents are so tired that we found a little high point and got a glimpse of it as well so I'm really happy. Time to head back down. It's so pretty still. Lots of trees in the way. Um, the cherry blossoms do look like they have died a little bit but some of them are still quite pink. Um, which is really beautiful. That view was so worth the mini hike up the hill. Oh my gosh. And it was free. So if you want a free view that's not too far away and you don't have to climb too much, that's where you can go. After a long day trip at Nara, we wanted Yakiniku for dinner and we randomly walked into this place that didn't need a booking. I had no expectations walking into this restaurant, but the meat quality here was insane. The meat was so fatty and soft, it just melts in your mouth.
Yeah. Yeah. Is it better? Yeah. Better. Oh, this is so good. <laughs> the melon? Yeah, the melon's bomb. What an amazing day in Nara, feeding deers and seeing this incredible cherry blossom spot before enjoying premium yakiniku for dinner in Osaka. I actually spent my third day in Osaka at Universal Studios Japan so make sure you check out that video. Don't forget to like and subscribe for more content. I'll see you in my next video.